everybody and welcome to my channel, Say La Vie. How is everybody today? I have a Value Village haul, but before I jump right into that, I just wanted to go over my name. So, uh, when I first had a YouTube account, it was just a comment on, you know, your guys' channels, if you have them, other people's channels, so I could have account I, an account I could comment on. I never dreamed I would start a YouTube channel. So, it was Tomps111. That's just kind of a nickname I've had since I got married. So, yeah. Um, so that. And then before that, it was always Donald because one of my roommates used to call me Donald Duck. But anyway. Then I wanted a better name for my YouTube channel. So I went with C'est La Vie. And uh, if you're a new subscriber, I will tell you why. It is because when I was a kid, I used to have this pretend, like I'm talking a young kid. I used to have this pretend cooking show my mom said and it was called C'est La Vie and I would make stuff and I would pretend, I've always been obsessed with cooking shows. I think I get it from my mom. I love watching cooking shows and I would watch them, she would watch them and then I would go in the kitchen and I would create things and uh, pretend there was cameras and I would have my own cooking show and I named it C'est La Vie. So that's why I thought that's what I'll name my channel. So I went a couple, I don't know, about a month ago and just, I got the, I knocked the Tomps one one off. I kept that on there for a bit just so you guys knew it was me. And then <clears throat> my friend Donna from Cardiff by Nature was telling me that she's like, there is at least 10 channels or more. I can't remember. There was a lot. And I was like 10th in line as for, you know, my channel. So I was like, oh, that's way too many. I don't want to deal with that. So I'm just going to keep it at C'est La Vie Tomps 1-1 for now, but it eventually will go to, I'm just, it's going to be C'est La Vie still, but it'll be C'est La Vie Dawn, and then it'll stay like that. But YouTube won't let me change it yet. Uh, I'll do a video when they will, and I'll just, it'll say C'est La Vie Dawn, but for right now, it's C'est La Vie Tomps 1-1-1. I'm sorry, but they won't let me change it for a little bit. So jumping right into the Value Village haul. The first package of stuff I got was $2.99, and I'm going to show you what it is. They have a nice elastic up. The first thing are these cute little babies, and they are just adorable. They actually kind of remind me of Caillou, the bald, ba the bald babies. And if anybody's a parent, you know how much you love Caillou by the time your kids watch it over and over and over. Anyway, so it's got some, it's like, it looks like whoever bought this never even used it. So it looks like it's, okay, so yeah, this is ephemera pieces, just some, I have a lot of stuff, so I'm just not going to do it all individually. A lot of, so those ephemera, sticker sheet, looks like it was a scrapbook kit. This sheet, purple sheet, green sheet, they're all white back, uh, blue. Oh, and that's just the car. So, yeah, this was a scrapbook kit somebody's bought. And I don't know if they even used it. So, that was that. <clears throat> and then, continuing on. Oh, yeah, so it's just not in this bag. This will be part of the same stuff I was just showing you. There is this sheet. Sorry. This sheet. And then more... Um, those other ones were cardstock die cuts. This is just paper. This is all just paper. So this is all, yeah, it's a scrapbook kit somebody's bought. So yeah, so I got that. I mainly got it for the baby stickers. I thought they were really cute. And then in this elastic pack, like I said, was that was $2.99, there is this. And it is all, actually I don't have to take it out. This is, uh, whoa, this is... Uh, this is from Dollarama, but this has not been out for a long time because they have changed their their craft logo. So this is this is a while ago. This scrapbook kit. Anyways, it ha it's all Easter, which is why I got it. So I'm not gonna take them all out. Uh, those, sorry about the glare, but those are all the sheets you get. So yeah, twelve pattern pages. I'm just going to check and see if they, no, see it hasn't even been opened. I was just going to say, I was just going to check and see if they were double-sided or not. No, they're all white at the back, but that's okay. So I got that. And then this was in there and it is this handmade paper forever in time. 
and it is this old brown. I didn't even see that because it was under in between all that stuff in the store. And then this one is like a almost like a purpley black. Uh, this one will be great for Halloween. Like my lighting is not doing it justice, guys, and I'm sorry, but it's got red, red tinges, black tinges. It's very Dracula paper-like, so I'm going to save that for Halloween projects. And then this I'll be using in a project that I'm very behind on for a friend, like super behind. <laughs> okay, for $3.99, they had this DCVW paper pad. And it still had the side tab on it here. So for four bucks or DC VW brand new, I didn't mind getting that paper pad. I like their paper. 180 sheets. And this one is actually paper. It's not cardstock. And so many of you guys are better at doing this than I am, but I'm learning. I watch videos and I learn. I like there was some nice holly that yeah see I love holly anyway I'm so bad at this anyway it's just really like some of it's vintagey love points out it's like it's very yeah and then that's like you can use that one anytime really you know same with that one I'm sorry. so bad at this so bad at this Pinks, just kind of, oh, we'd already done all that, sorry. Like that one, oh, it has a wreath in it, so I guess it is Christmas. But like that one, you could use any time. Little partridge. I had to pause there, I thought it was a peacock. I was gonna be like really excited, but I love partridge. I love all birds really they're all cool I love all animals really but I love my birds and my Newfoundlander dogs okay so that's called the holiday stack four bucks yes please okay I got these for a friend and Snow White and this is quite an older this is an older version I'm gonna see oh not well, yeah, I guess 1981, I guess not old, old, but like not 50s old, but still that one, not like they made it last year. Peter Pan. And let me see. I don't know, there's no, anyway, Peter Pan, uh, Beauty and the Beast. This one. Guys, oh, I had to grab it for her. So it, it'll need to be cleaned up a little bit because it's got um, the stickers on it from somewhere. Um, Little Red Riding Hood. Who, <laughs> when this was first for sale, it was 39 cents, okay? I don't even know when this came out. 1973. Is that not cool? So I got that for her. So yeah, so those are for her. And I forget how much, Value Village, I don't know if the kids' books are $1.99 and then you buy some and you get one free or something like that. But anyway, they're not expensive. Okay, this pack was $2.99. Uh, we're going to open her up and see what's in there. Okay, so in here we got, it's called The Flat Book in Black. And it's really interesting. Okay, so it hasn't been made yet. Oh yeah, okay, so it's like those little flip books or those. When I do videos, I can't talk. Anyway, mini book, mini album. Anyway, got that in there, that's cool. Saves me some cardstock making them and they're in black, so they'll be fun for different projects then we have and this did not have an original price on it but sorry these did sorry for the crinkling guys I don't mean to do it um 
This was originally $1.49 from Inka Dinka Doos, and it is this stamp set. And this doesn't have a price, and I don't have any white paper. I don't know if it'll work on black. But you're invited. You did it. Um, like if you want to do invitations. Sorry about my glare. So anyway, those stamps. And then again, this set's never been used by Inka Dinka Doo, and it was originally $1.99. And it's like floral flowers and things. And you get nine in that one. So pretty good for $2.99, I thought. Then my next bag here was $1.99. It's a little bag, but wait till you see what is in it. And that's why I got it. They are Swarsk, I cannot say it right. Swarskvi, Swarski. I can never say it right. But I know these are very expensive. And there is 30 pieces never open in the four millimeter flat back. Um, these ones are pink. Uh, you're probably not gonna see it on my camera, but they're like a pink color. To see if it did have the name, but it doesn't. This one is 20 pieces. Oh, those are the hot, they say hot fix. So it looks like I can iron these, looks like. Uh, this is a five millimeter in just clear, and they say hot fix as well. I got those ones. Then these ones are the five mil. Let's see. I think they're exactly the same. Yeah, they are. And then this one is 28 piece in the four millimeter. And yeah, it's just the, it's the clear as well. So one's pink and the rest are all clear gems. So, so for those kind, that is amazing for $2, absolutely amazing. So I got those. Then we have this bag that was $2.99. We'll jump right in it. And these are little wedding cakes. Like, well, sorry, no, they're cakes. You could use them for anything. Um, these are from a surplus store. Probably KW because it looks like they're, uh... anyway, they started at $3.97, they went down to $50, and then they were in this bag, like I said, for $2.99. So the little handmade cakes by Paper Bliss are really cute. They do say wedding cakes, but I mean, doesn't matter. Um, these ones are Paper Charms cardstock stickers. Oh, they're cute. So I got those. Uh, this, these... <laughs> So we must have a yard sale, 50 cents. Uh, these are, I forget, crafts. Yeah, these were a Dollarama brand, but they're really cute. They are handmade tags, six pieces on a ribbon. And they even had come with a little backing if you wanted to use them as that. This is Finishing Touches Craft Accents in... These were originally 99 cents. There's three truck, uh, they look like button stickers. And then this metal boy, a truck, and some fonts. So that'll be cute for projects. And in my last video I said I was trying to get more boy things. Um, this was a dollar, this is by Jolie's Boutique. And it's it says the honeymoon, but again, it doesn't have to be used for that. Because you know, when you do a video, you, you, you say you need the white paper. I'm not the only one who does it, and then you don't. Yeah. Anyway, um, the honeymoon. Sorry about the glare. Isn't that cute? So I'll be using that for different uh, projects. And I'm just getting the time to do them. This one is wedding. Sandy line, the bra, like the, you know, the bridal dress and her veil and flowers and thing like that. So that's really cute. Uh, more of those wedding cakes. And then these, I haven't seen these in a while, uh, the rhinestone self-adhesive 
alphabet in the blue. So that was that bag for $2.99. This bag was $3.99 and I got it for feathers, which is kind of funny because, and mine haven't come in yet. From AliExpress, I had ordered them the day before and then I went in Value Village and they had this whole bag and I'm going to tell you right now, I paid way more on Ali than $2.99. Not like I still didn't, or sorry, $3.99, sorry. I still didn't pay a lot on Ali, but I did not get as many of these feathers, if you know what I mean. So there's just tons and tons of them, like tons. And they're all, um, these are all multicolored feathers. So yeah, really exciting. Now I did get some on Ali that are black and white. So that will be good, but I did order multicolored ones too, so. If any of you are doing swaps with me and you want feathers, let me know. Okay, so there's that. Again, I'm sorry for any crinkling. This bag was $2.99. Sorry, the camera picks up the crinkling, eh? I don't mean to do it. Sometimes I, I think, oh, I should be prepared for my videos and have it all cut open. And life doesn't happen that way for me. And I dropped one. I'll just get it one sec. I hate bending over on camera. Last time I did that, you guys seen all my tattoos, but anyway. Okay, so what did I say? $2.99. There is this stamp from Studio G. Oh, I like this one. I'm being influenced by friends and fairies, so this will be really good in my fairy projects. Oh, I love that. The little hello. I really like that. And at one time, that stamp was a dollar. This one's Studio G as well, and it says you're a peach. Oh, that's a I like that one. Then we have this one, <clears throat> little stamps and um, what am I trying to say? You, so you can stamp, so you can have words, you can write words or even stamp more in there. And then these little uh, designs. Then we have, which they've all come off the stickiness, that's fine. I usually glue mine anyway, but they are Pearl Accents by Forever in Time. Wow, this is an old Forever in Time pack, but they are Pearl Accents. And so they've all come off, they're sticky, but they're still cool. They're like a little pearl with a gold around them. And then this one is Creative Memories, and it is one sheet of Alphas in like upper and lower and with accent so this is definitely a Canadian pack because you can actually do you know the French accents in there so yeah so that in a yellow then there was this somebody got this at liquidation world and precious moments these are cute I've never been into precious moments any of you guys ever been into precious moments they are super cute and I definitely use them if, you know, unless there's people I'm doing swaps with and you're totally into that, let me know. And then a Z in the turquoise. This is called Chip Chatter Jellies in Z. And they're both in Z. So two of those. Then we have DCVW in uh, two packs in gold glitter. That will be awesome for Christmas projects. So... That was that big. Then I scored on this, you guys. So I have not had a chance to get to Ikea. Sorry, my camera's dropping. I have not had a chance to get to Ikea and to ship. Like, there, we do have a shipping um, place in London. But uh, the minimum shipping you pay, you have to pay is $20. And I mean, if you're getting furniture, they're going to charge you more. But so the minimum you have to pay is $20. And I was like, no, I'll just, I'll go to Ikea one and get these for my cart. Found them at Value Village for $2.99 for three. I don't know how much they are at Ikea, but I'm going to tell you guys right now, by the time I drive there and the gas, and then the more money I would spend at Ikea because, you know. Uh, yeah, so for $2.99 uh, each bag, I got three. And they are the buckets that can hang, well, 
you can buy the bar at Ikea that these hang on, but they also hang on the Rascog cart, which I have one, and they hang on the Michaels carts, the Lexington, I believe. So anyway, I have six now, I didn't have any, and there is a clear, a black, and a purple. Um, not really my craft room colors, but you know what? For that price, I did not care. Doesn't matter. Storing things in it, right? Okay, next bag, $2.99. And we have Bow Bunny Clearly Stamps in this Halloween pack. Isn't that cute? We have, it's called Solos in a, bo a bow, and then I'm not sure if somebody's put this in upside down. Doesn't look like it's been used, but it's in upside down. Anyway, it's a bow, and then I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to play with that one and figure it out. Then we have, oh, I didn't see this when I was buying this. That's cool. K and Company stamps in here, and look at this, you guys. So this will go good with any of my Peacock projects that I do. It's very much their colors. So I really like that sticker. And then this is the Inka Dinka Doo Elphas. And I don't have this 46 clear stamps. I don't have this Alpha pack. That's kind of fun. So I'm getting a real glare today and a real crinkle. Sorry. Very sorry. Okay. Getting down, guys, I got one more pack. This pack was $1.99. I'm just going to show you real I'm going to try and keep this up under 25. <laughs> Clear stamps in the, these roses. And that's what made me want to get that forever in time. Aren't they gorgeous? Then we have, oh, there's two packs. So I will be sharing these. Awesome. And they were originally $1.79. Then this has been used, but just some uh, calligraphy type alphas. And then we have numbers in these type of style and more that haven't been used. Oh, these are die cuts with a view, This, these ones. And then lastly, we have the sticker value pack in Halloween and fall sentiments. So yeah, that is that pack. And then I have one more pack to show you guys and then I will, um, close up the video and let you guys get on with whatever you're doing. So this is a bow bunny, uh, is it a six by six? Anyway, scrapbook uh, paper and it's a lighter cardstock. Not heavy, but it's definitely cardstock and not paper. And look at the florals. Love, oh, those are so my colors. I just, I love anything bright and blingy out. I am that lady. <laughs> just funny because all my family, the rest of my family, my sons and hubby are not that, so they always tease me. Okay, and then this one, I'm not sure, Wassell, Wassail, my, I don't know if I'm saying it right, paper pad. I've never heard of this company. If any of you guys have, let me know. And it is. Looks like, yeah, Christmas florals. I'm gonna skip. Sorry, yeah, you wouldn't have saw that if I didn't fix it. Looks like you get two of each. Oh, I like that, that looks like it's already been Oh, that's cool. It's like they've already been um, distressed with like the distress ink, but it's part of the pad. Oh, that's really cool. The presents. Oh, that is really cool. Love it. Oh, yeah. That's cool. I'm not sure. That one looks like some, yeah, see, the original, I was like, maybe somebody did this, but they didn't, because the original one looks like this, and then somebody's gotten marker on that one, but yeah, so, oh, that's cool, I love this, I love how it's already distressed, and, sorry, getting, anyway, 
And then it had it in the green and then the red. So that is awesome, awesome, awesome. I love that. All right, I hope you all enjoyed my video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Appreciate that. And uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, take care, everybody. Until my next one. Have a good one. Bye, guys.